basically this part is uh, the one half A steerable nose wheel. These are Dubro two and three quarter inch light wheels, super light wheels. And these are three and three thirty second uh, collars. I had to drill those out just a little bit in order to to work on these back landing gear. But uh, basically, take the uh, boot, the back landing gear off, and use the existing uh, assembly, wire assembly there. Put two collars. Sorry, in this one on the back one, you only have to use one. It's fine to. Uh, here to let it ride right on the elbow there. On the front you have to put two, one on each side when you bend this nose wheel steering. Didn't have to do anything to this at all except uh, when you, uh, the instructions even show you this, that you have to grind down a flat spot on this piece so that it sits on that set screw. That's, uh, you just take your Dremel tool. And uh, also inside I use the servo saver and um, I had to go to Home Depot and get longer screws to go inside those collars because um, they didn't go far enough down on the push rod to secure it. The other thing I did too is you probably can't see this on the video but there is a sleeve that this uh, push rod runs in you need to cut about uh, at least a half inch, maybe even more, I'd say an inch, just uh, cut it back. You can use a pair of uh, wire cutters, you know, and uh, use it to like a number 14 gauge. You can strip that uh, wire off or you can use an X-Acto knife. But And I ended up using soft on the front, soft spring on the front side, On the, I guess that would be the push and hard spring on the pull it wasn't uh, it wasn't doing it wasn't turning one way uh, very well so I ended up using the hard spring on the back back here alright so this is what I ended up getting also at Home Depot the screws that go in those collars on the servo savers 4x40 and that was the smallest I could find a half inch but uh, they work very well flathead Phillips zinc and Dubro uh, control override 120 Two and three quarter diameter, two seventy five SL catalog number. You get a quantity of two. You end up having an extra one left over. Dubro three quarter, uh, three and three thirty second plated brass Dura collars, catalog one thirty eight, and you've got the one half A steerable nose gear, catalog two thirty four. And uh, that I did not end up using the. Uh, the mount since I used the existing one. And when I drilled out the collar for the back, I ended up uh, using a 764 uh, drill bit, which is just one size bigger than the 332nd collar. And that drilled out real easy and went right on the back wheel assembly. And she, uh, with a little bit of adjustments, you know, messing around with uh, basically the way the push rod is. Now you can see it doesn't ex protrude um, out of the back here very far. In fact, this is mounted right on the end. And uh, you may find that yours is very similar. Someone also mentioned that you need to get a longer push rod. But in this case, um, I didn't end up having to do that. All I did was... I was right at the end and I needed a little bit more so I actually bent this wire a little bit more so that it would give me more play in the back back there. You'll figure that part out when you get to it. But anyway, I'll give you a little show out in the street here in just a second. Alright, here it is on the pavement. Little demo running down the street, watching out for the bikers. So it's riding pretty straight. Of course, that's after I adjusted it once comes out here. Very steerable. 
cracks pretty straight. And whips right around. So all in all, I think it's gonna be a good mod. And I hope yours is as successful. I'll show you some flight video later.